Good afternoon, Year 7, and welcome to our weekly assembly. Hope you have, have all had a lovely Friday. It's been great to see you back after the Easter break and working really hard in all of your lessons. Um, Mrs Lois Vincent, Mr Pugh and myself have been really impressed with the work we've been seeing so far and your enthusiasm to make sure you are active online and getting engaged in those lessons. So well done for that, Year 7. Uh, before we broke up for half term, we had a focus on trying our best and I want us to continue doing that this half term because uh, despite what's going on at home and how hard some of you may be finding it on the virtual school, um, I just want to keep that in the back of your mind to remember that all you need to keep doing is trying your best. This week, I want us to have a focus on working as a team. Um, so one of our values that we believe in year seven and something that I think we do quite well anyway, uh, but at times at the moment, which is slightly different to how it normally would be, and you are at home and you may be on your own, I want us to start thinking about the importance of being a team and how we can motivate and engage each other um, this half term. So this is just a short video clip um, of uh, some cartoon characters, as you can see, about the importance of working as a team. And, and hopefully you enjoy that. So please watch that at your own leisure. Um, just a couple of minutes long um, and, and hopefully you'll find that quite funny and see why I'm really pushing us to work as a team. So, how are we working as a team, as a year group? And I've put on there four different times where we are a team and you're working in different teams of, of different groups of people. Um, so, as you can see, I've put on there, together everyone achieves more. And that's what I think we need to keep at the back of our mind when we're thinking about teamwork. Um, so, teamwork is really important in all aspects of life, whether that's at school, whether that's when you go and get a job in the future, uh, whether it's at home with your family. Uh, working together really does ensure you to make sure you can achieve as much as possible. So in your classes, you are a team in that class. So virtually online, please make sure you're supporting each other. If someone's unsure but you know the answer, maybe help them out uh, and give some advice and that bit of guidance and motivation and that'll help them achieve what they want to. Um, and that's all different classes. So in English, you may have one group of, as a team and then in maths, it'll be a totally different group of, of people. So in your classes, you are a team. So, so think about that this week when you're in lessons and see if you can support each other and, and encourage each other to work as hard as possible. Your form groups. So as a form group, how can you work more as a team? I want to see us all motivating each other to be online and to be on time. So this week I tried it a couple of days where I was putting on their points for people who were uh, checking in before 8.45. And I'll do that again next week on some of the days to try and see which students are online. Communicate with people who are in your form. Um, please try and give them that encouragement to get online and to make sure they are in time and in lessons. Um, I know some of the students have been contacting each other uh, via phone calls or via WhatsApp messages. Uh, and that's really nice to hear that you are keeping contact with your friends and, and your form groups. Um, so keep that up, please, because um, it, it is nice for you to keep in touch and to try and motivate each other. Um, as form groups, I want you to really work on making sure you can get as much points as possible. Um, so as individuals, obviously, you can do your part by trying to get lots and lots of points. And then we can see next week which form has worked together as a team uh, to make sure that they're at top of that leaderboard. Main one for me, really, obviously, we're a year group and I always uh, are tweeting all the time about how proud I am of you as a team. And that's all of you. That's a contribution from every single one of you. Um, and I want you to keep that at the back of your mind, particularly whilst we're off. Um, we're out here for each other. Obviously, you've got myself, Mrs. Lois Vincent, and then now we've got Mr. Pugh as well, who's on board, who joined us this week. Um, so hopefully lots of you have been uh, seeing him in your lessons and, and, and maybe speaking to him over the phone when he's been calling home. Um, but we are a team of people um, and we're here to support each other. And I want you to keep that at the back of your mind at all times to remember that everyone is here for you as Team Year 7. And then the final one there, obviously, we are a school and Aldersley are a big team together and we will continue to keep supporting you whilst you are off at school at the moment and working in the virtual school. So just remember of all those key members of staff that you've got to speak to and all those um, 
those pastoral staff um, that are there to help you if needed. So this week, I want a real push and a real team effort from Year 7 to be the top of the leaderboard for everything. So I want Year 7s to be smashing the points. I want the attendance to be the highest because we are still checking that attendance to see who's at the top of the leaderboard for being online. Um, so let's have a real big team effort to make sure we can be at the top of that. Um, and I want lots of positive praise for year seven in general on twitter and on my emails so that's your challenge this week year seven and i'm sure you're going to impress so quickly how are you challenging yourself at home it's something that we ask you to do all the time in school and i want that to continue whilst you're at home as well so did you complete any of the Easter challenges? I know some of you did because I saw you tweeting uh, what you were doing in the Easter holidays, which was amazing to see. Um, and I want you to, even if you didn't have a go at doing the Easter holidays because you're having a rest and you were doing busy doing things with family at home, um, you've still got time to do some of those Easter challenges. So they are still there online in the, in the whole year group uh, team for you to click on and have a look at some of those activities. Uh, some of them are academic, some of them and more some physical activities like the ones that I set um, and there is some more practical ones for you to have a go at so if you are bored during form time or at the end of the day and you want you fancy doing something a little bit different um, have a look at some of those ESA challenges because they are still there and I'm still quite keen to see you getting involved in them if you didn't have time over the Easter holiday making sure you're challenging yourselves in lessons and that intrinsic motivation that we've spoke about that's really key at the moment because obviously you haven't got as many external um people motivating you um so make sure when you're at home you are keep challenging yourself in lessons give yourself little targets of what you want to achieve at the start of the lesson think about what you're going to achieve today and then keep that at the back of your mind and keep telling yourself through that self-talk that you can do it and you're going to be really successful during that lesson so keep that motivation high in every single lesson that you attend so thinking about do you finish school and think of ways to keep your mind active so when you finish in school i want you to make sure um, you're thinking about things that you can do to be outside of the classroom so as well as being in the virtual school during the day obviously when you finish what can you do to keep yourself active that could be physical activity it could be going to do some baking which i've seen lots of you doing on twitter which is a good way to to normally de-stress and, and keep busy and it's normally enjoyable it's been a lot of, nice to see a lot of you taking part in some baking maybe go and read a book maybe go and make a phone call to some friends and have a little catch off because you've not been able to see each other in person but just make sure you are challenging yourself to keep yourself busy um, rather than sitting around all day and then and then you do suddenly start to feel a little bit bored um, so make sure you are challenging yourself to keep yourself busy at all times think about what you can do better and as always obviously I'll speak to you in a minute about setting those targets for this half term um, and that's important that you think about what can you do better and think about that on a daily basis as well so if you've had a bad day because we all do have bad days at times then the next day you need to wake up it's a new day and you need to think about what challenge you can set for the day ahead and then finally what can we do better and obviously that focus on teamwork uh, for next week I want you to think about what can we do better as a team and try and encourage and motivate each other as a whole to try and achieve more. And as I just said, as always, I ask you to set those targets from home. New half term, nothing's different. I want you to do exactly the same again. Maybe you could design yourself a poster that you display in your bedroom wall or you stick on your fridge at home where you've got those three targets that you've set for the half term. Think about short term goals. So it's not something that you want to achieve um, by the time you're in year eight or next year it's something that you want to achieve by that may half term um so some, some small steps that you can take to get there have a look at your IROP that's been sent recently in the post and think look at those lessons where maybe you aren't reaching that target grade and think about what you're going to do to make sure you can achieve that target grade um by the end of year seven and have a little talk to your teachers if you're unsure about how you're going to get there. And I'm sure they'll be happy to support you and give you a bit of advice, some things to work on from home. If you do achieve your targets before you plan to by the end of my half term, make sure you do reward yourself. It's always good to keep yourself motivated by small rewards. Um, and then as I've put there, make sure you ask for support and help if you are unsure about what goals to set or how you're going to achieve those goals. So always think of those smart targets, which we spoke about from the start in September, making sure those targets are specific, measurable, 
achievable, realistic, and then you've got that time there at the end to make sure you hit that time bound, which is obviously going to be May half term for all of you. So Twitter, I absolutely love going on Twitter daily and seeing what year sevens are doing. Um, and it's fantastic to see staff and students tweeting about the work that they're proud of. Um, and I want you to keep that up. If you're not on Twitter, obviously, and you can get access to Twitter, I would advise that you do. Because um, especially whilst we're off school at the moment, it's it's a great way to, to keep in contact and see what other people are doing at home and some of the fantastic work that's being produced. Um, so one tweet there off Miss Nuttall, who was really proud of Ben and Tom in her 7B4 class. Um, um, and that was great to see. So well done to you, boys. We've got Miss Kirk there, who was really pleased of 7B3 and how amazing they were doing in their work. Um, obviously, she's relocated where she's working outside, which is which is uh, always good to see the out, the outdoors and, and some sunshine, which we've been lucky enough to see at the moment. So big shout out to 7B3. Um, Mrs Mangano there was pleased with several students actually in her lesson who produced some fantastic French work. Um, so well done to you guys. Keep it up. Um, Miss Core, who actually emailed myself and Mrs. Lodes Vincent about how amazing 7A2 did this week in their English lessons. And she was really, really pleased. Um, so well done to you. She was pleased that you were working just as hard at home as you do normally in the classroom. Um, so well done there to 7A2 for English. A lovely tweet there from Ellie showing about her organisation for a PE work. Um, and obviously I tweeted there about how he pleased I was with my PE classes because you've really taken it on board working from home. Um, we've got Ellie as well, who's also very prepared there with her workstation and set up for the day ahead, uh, which is great to see. And I, and I love to see that at home at the beginning of the day means you're off to a good start. Some fantastic artwork there from Freya, um, and that's that's good to see. I like seeing some of the work that's been tweeted from Mr. Wilkes' class. Um, so well done to Freya there. Um, and then Angie, who has made some fantastic Easter cakes over the holiday. Um, keep it up. Uh, Tobias, lovely tweet there. Absolutely um, amazing to see how organised you are at home. Um, keeping all your folders for your different subjects and got that workspace there ready for the day ahead. So well done to you, Tobias. And then Oliver, big shout out to you for having to go at some of my challenges that I set you. They're only 60 second challenges. That's one minute for you to try and get as much done as possible in that physical activity that I've set. Um, so that was a, re a tweet that I really liked seeing over the Easter holiday. Um, so, so if you haven't had a chance, try and have a go at some of those physical activities. They are quite fun so you can get your family involved as well. Right, so I'm time to celebrate. Um, so over to the AHS points. Um, obviously, Miss Pritchard sent out her assembly on Monday where you could see which students were top of the leaderboard uh, for the half term. Um, I'm just going to talk to you uh, or celebrate really the, the, the students who achieved the most points in that final week before we broke up for, for Easter. Um, so there's a few different names on here compared to your Monday assembly. Um, it's got Laura there at the top with a fantastic 740 points. So well done to you, Laura. And then well done to our top 10 students, Emmy, Seren, Tiani, Libby, uh, Sam T, Hadia, Phoebe, Paige K and Charon, you are top of our leaderboard for that week. Um, so I'm really keen to see who, who gets top of the leaderboard next week. So I know I've been giving out lots of points uh, for those students who've been on time, who've been challenging themselves and have been respectful in their lessons. Um, so hopefully there's an increase of points next week as well. Uh, but well done to you guys. And then also a big shout out to 7H, who work fantastic as a team. Um, Miss Core's form there, uh, the highest year seven form across the school um, with 4,980 points. So well done to you. Um, but I must say, in that top section there, um, there's actually more year eight forms than there is year seven forms. And you know I'm quite competitive and obviously I am in charge across the two year groups. Um, so next week I'm setting you the challenge year seven for it to be a year seven at the top of that leaderboard. So, to, um, so for the rest of today and for next week, I want to see you trying to get as many points as possible so we can have a year seven form at the top there. Uh, just a quick well done as well to 7S and 7Y, who were the other two forms who were in the top uh, top, top three from year seven. Um, so I've put you in there as well. So well done to you guys um, and keep it up. Keep working hard. And I'm sure your form tutors will be motivating you in the year team group as well um, to make sure you get lots and lots of points. 
So I'm moving on to those students of the week and it's a really hard task for myself, Mrs. Lodge Vincent and, and now Mr. Pugh who's working with us as well, um, to try and sh choose these students because we're only picking two students across the week. Obviously we're rewarding our, our daily students along with Mrs. Davis as well from SLT. Um, but these students we feel this week have really stood out for us and are really working hard from home. Um, so you deserve a special mention. Um, so my student of the week this week is going to Charlie. Well done to you, Charlie. I've been really impressed with how you've been working from home, seeing you posting some of your work in your lessons, which has been amazing, uh, engaging in lots of your lessons and working hard as well with your friends in teams. Had a, an email from Miss Jeffries, who's really pleased from you in maths. Um, and I've just been pleased with you, how you've been working the virtual school this week. So well done to you, Charlie. Uh, look out for your certificate via email. And then the head of year student of the week, I know Mrs. Lodes Vincent found this hard this week, obviously with her first week back, um, there's been lots of students trying to impress, um, so I know there's lots of students she could have chose for this award, um, but she has gone for this young man who she believes has worked really, really hard and has impressed her on uh, the return from ESA, and that student is... Damien, so well done to you Damien as well, look out for your certificate via email, uh, really impressed with your work and efforts so far. School values, so I know lots of you are really keen to still get those Aldersley badges to, to complete your blazers um, with the be challenged, be prepared and be respectful badges. Um, so whilst we are off, I will still be awarding these um, prizes because I know lots of you look out for these and try really hard to get these uh, badges. Uh, when you do return to school, obviously you, you're able to come and collect the badges from myself and I will issue them to put onto your blazer. Um, so, as I said, myself, Mrs. Lodes Vince and Mr. Pugh, we've all had a little chat via phone um, to decide who gets these badges this week. Um, so the first one goes to Tuba, who we believe has been really prepared and has been working hard in her lessons. Um, that means being on time, engaging in those lessons, making sure everything is ready for the lesson and showing that, that score value that we expect to see. So well done to you, Tuba. You've got your Be Prepared badge. Be respectful is going to Zainab, so well done to you Zainab, always respectful whilst we're in school and we've noticed that as well online, you always are respectful um, to your peers, um, so keep that up Zainab, well done, you've got our Be Respectful badge. And then our final one, our Be Challenged, is going to Libby. And if you are on Twitter, I'm sure you will see that Libby has been tweeting daily some of her amazing work that she's been doing and has really been pushing herself. Um, so well done to you, Libby. I think there was no one else we could give that to award this week. It had to be you from all your efforts and, and everything that you've been doing in every single lesson where you've been challenging yourself. So well done to you, Libby. You've got your B Challenge badge. OK, so before I leave you, um, just that positive poster there, which you all design, which I'm going to keep up there because I really love that picture about staying positive and taking care of yourself whilst you're at home. Um, so make sure you do stay safe at home um, and make sure you think about that working as a team that we've spoke about in today's assembly. Um, I want to be that in the back of your mind and your focus. Make sure you are tweeting throughout next week. Um, and, and sending us any emails of all the amazing work you are doing. And myself and the Year 17 will look forward to seeing that next week. Have a lovely weekend and enjoy the rest of your day, Year 7, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.